There's one cub. It's my poop one. So I heard them answering. Here comes one, now where's the other? Oh, look at that! Isn't that just too special? Let me just go back. Right. Now, the other cup should be on its way shortly. Sorry, Brian. I'm just going to try to get us into a slot. I think we're okay here. There's going to be a few two cars coming. Here we go. Who is that? It looks like Hosanna, the little male. Now the little female should be quite close by. And she's going to lead them from here back to her kill. Sorry, I just need to let Sips. They've got a bumper north. See, she's still calling for the other one. Looks like young Hassan is heading to possibly have a drink. I'm keeping an eye out for Shongile, the female. Look at him, he seems to have developed a bit of an attitude since the last time I saw him. <laughs> I do love little, you know, or young male leopards are particularly entertaining. Oh. I think he might be going for a drink. And she's still calling. The other one's still that side. I can hear, I heard two of them calling just now this side. Yeah. But she's got to a bamba Philemon's dip. No, it's just a Munti, small one. Okay, well, she's calling for Shongile. Let's go see if that little male is having a drink at the pan. And I'm pretty sure that shortly the other two are going to come join. Where did he scuttle? He scuttled right down here. Isn't this great? I haven't seen crew like it feels like in an age since the Mawati, where we found it on a dike hill in the Mawati riverbed. Can you see him, right? Where's that little troublemaker gone? Is he at the pan? Yes, he is. So just as we were hoping, he's popped in to quench his thirst. Gonna be a bit of an awkward angle, Brian. How's that? Good. So the only the best spot to get, we've got to sit at a bit of an angle, but it is worth it. Look at that, look at that reflection. So these the two cubs, a male and a female, they were born on the 2nd of February. Just under eight months old. Probably one Mampimpan is here drinking. The others are still inside uh, Hoffman's or Little Gari.
Now, I hope you guys are getting some fantastic screenshots. I haven't got any photos of these guys in quite a while. So if you hear a bit of a clickety click, it's just me. No, don't go. Oh, of course, Murphy's Law. Heading back to his mother. Naughty little chap. So she just gave it quite a deep call there that I heard. Now, Romy's asking, do all female leopards' calls and growls mean the same thing, or does each mother have its own set of calls for their cubs? Well, like all our voices are different, we personally can't really hear the difference in leopard calls or the difference. So for us, a little contact call or a chuff will sound the same, but obviously to that leopard, it'll sound completely different. So she's still waiting for the female to join them. Let's just get there. She's looks like she's heading a bit further south. I oh, know she's lying down there. There she is. That not that just too special? Now, I think, judging from Kula's behavior now, she's, she's heard the, the female, but the female's being a bit difficult. She doesn't want to come out, but she'll start calling again. Oh, look, it's just too special. She's such a fantastic mother. Isn't this just too special, being able to spend time? And you should go back a little bit, Brian. Are you happy there? No, we're okay, yes, no. Okay. calling for the female again. Oh, there she comes. Here comes the female. Brian spotted the next, there here comes the next cub. Look at her charging in. Hi, Ma. Here we go, look at that. She is such a fantastic mother. And here comes brother to cause trouble as well. Look at the cheeky little guy scent marking. Thinks he's much bigger than he is already. So from here she's gonna take them back to where we've been checking all afternoon to the darker kill Herbie saw happen. <laughs> 